Alright, welcome back everybody. It is Wednesday. We are headed into Mount Mortar. I honestly don't remember what's up with Mount Mortar. I don't know what our purpose is going into here, if we even have one. But uh, we will find out because it's been a long time, long time since i played this game. This is a solid generation. Still pales in comparison, if I may be so bold. Still, still bear, uh, pales in comparison to X and Y, but at least this game has a little bit of challenge to it, whereas X and Y was a real pushover. I've already beaten X and Y, um, which is apparently slow compared to some people. Some people beat it like in two days or something. Um, me, I have a job. <laughs> I, I can't do that. I also have other video games I play. Um, I actually found with X and Y, even though it was a really good game and I, I kept wanting to play it, um, I couldn't sit down and, and play through long sessions of it. I kind of had to take breaks. And maybe that's just me with Pokemon. Maybe, you know what I honestly think that what caused that is that um, I, I started doing these videos where I, where I record Pokemon and now I'm used to recording a little bit and then taking a long break. And then, and then you know, I only, I only play this game like, half, like a half an hour a week now. And I have been doing that for a long time with, you know, Platinum before that and even before that, Leaf Green. And I almost completely stopped playing Pokemon casually. Um, and by casually, I mean like in my free time, once I started the Let's Plays. So, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. You know, I, I just realized, like, I, maybe that I was, I was just saying, I just thought of that right now. Is, you know, maybe it's just because I... Maybe it's just because I, I'm I, that's what I'm used to in the past couple of uh, past couple of years, really. It's kind of funny to think about. I don't know. I wonder if that's if that's really the case or if I'm just I don't know. I'm really guessing here. I don't I don't understand. But anyway, like I would I would play for a little while and then I would be okay. It's time to play something else. So I play like a, like a couple League A RAM games and then switch back and yeah, every time I mention League, every time I mention that I play League of Legends, just like offhand. Um, Everybody always asks, are you ever going to do League? No, because League has an awful, awful community, and I don't want to invite that to my channel. Um, I might at some point in the future like stream it a little bit, but I honestly, I, I don't like it because I'm not good at that game, and people love to criticize you and tell you, tell you how to play, and it's just kind of annoying. Like, there's, there's a fine line between giving good gameplay tips and just being like being an insufferable know-it-all and people don't seem to strike that balance very well so that's something I don't really want to get into and just just generally speaking for, for whatever reason it I don't know if this is related but both both the uh, the YouTube and and the, and the streaming communities that surround League of Legends are awful and then on top of that the people in game also just fucking suck they are horrible horrible people I told this story on the podcast tonight um, for those of you who don't know, I, I do a weekly podcast with the KB Mod guys. It's about PC gaming, so if you're into that, check us out. But um, it's KBMOD, twitch.tv slash KBMOD. Um, we had a, uh, I, I was solo queuing. I, I was in solo queuing. It, League, is a, League of Legends is a, is a five-player team game. It's, well, it's 5v5, so it's, every game is ten people. So it obviously is pretty convenient if you have friends who play the game with you that you can queue up with right because it's good communication you get into a match faster or you get into a match pretty fast anyway but like the problem is is that league rewards you for being higher level and you know basically having played the game longer uh, in the form of statistical bonuses you have sort of like a mmo talent tree that you fill out you have uh, these things called runes that you can buy and the higher level you are the better runes you can buy um, and, uh, basically what it amounts to is a literal statistical ad advantage, um, in a competitive game, which I really don't agree with. I think that's a really terrible idea, and I, I still don't like the fact that they do it. You know, I, I understand why they do it, because it kind of keeps people invested, but I, I think that, first off, I don't think any other game could get away with it at this point, and second of all, I, I just think, for me, for the end user, it sucks. I, I don't like this, um, but... The problem is, all of my friends are max level in the game. Max level is 30. So all my friends are summoner level 30. I'm level, like, 19. So I don't really want to play with my friends because I'm 
because I get match made against other level 30s because all my friends are level 30, so I, I am literally playing at a disadvantage, just statistically, let alone skill-wise, because I'm not very good at it, like I said. So, um, so I've been trying to level up on my own time so that I can join my friends. And I solo queued last night, just by myself, plot me into a game, whatever, just give me, give me, uh, some teammates to play with, and, um, I mean, I main support characters, I always play characters that, there, there are several positions in the League, it's almost like a basketball game where there are, like, set positions that you play, and this is a metagame that has sprung up around the, uh, around the, the competitive metagame, and now everybody sort of adheres to that online, which I think is pretty cool, because back when I played, there was no sense of order. We were like, oh, we should probably have, like, a magic tank, and then a physical tank, and then we should have a magic, uh, you know, long-range damage dealer, and we should have, like, a melee assassin, and then we should have a, a magical mage character. That's not true at all, it doesn't make any sense, we were just kind of like, yeah, we should split our damage, but that, da you know, damage doesn't really mean all that, what kind of damage you deal actually isn't really that important in terms of your team comp. Anyway, I'm getting, getting ahead of myself. Anyway, uh, so I, I main what's called the support, I, I take the one character called the, AD, the ADC, the attack damage carry, who's usually a long range uh, physical kind of carry, uh, a carry is, refers to somebody who's weak early game and then later game can really bring the game back and carry their team, basically. Um, they, they scale really well. So I'm the support. I'm laned with the AD, with the, uh, AD carry, and my job is to make sure that, the, that they live and that they, they, get good, they get good and fed early game. Um, and we had a guy who was jungling. Jesus Christ, these encounters are out of control. My God, let me get a thought out for the love of Jesus. Let me put on some repel for a second. God damn. So, so I made I made the AD, the uh, support for the ADC, and it, it's weird because when I'm playing in that role, I almost get like this this weird sort of like motherly thing. <laughs> like I'm I'm taking care of my ADC, so I sort of act as like the team father, and I'm like I'm like everybody listen to me. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to keep peace between everybody, and. This Udir was this other character, Udir. Um, he's he's a what's called a jungler. Long story. Don't ask. I don't feel like going into the explanation of all the league roles. But our jungler, he he basically he was oh actually he was either playing jungle or top lane. I can't remember which he was playing, but he he just wasn't playing with the team at all. And his character that he was playing, Udir, to be fair, is kind of like a solo character. He does he does do very well by himself. And he was what's called split pushing, which is when he sort of tries to distract the other team by pushing uh, their lanes while we're all team fighting. But the problem was, was that we were all coming very close to winning these team fights, but we just couldn't because we were outnumbered. We were winning about 50-50, and that was all four people versus five people, because we didn't have this fifth person. So I mentioned it to him, and I wasn't, and I've, I've learned from previous experience, like, you, you don't just act like a dick to people. In, in league, you don't like get aggressive about it. Like, Look, motherfucker, you get over here and you help us. Like, that doesn't. Nobody responds well to that on league. Everybody's ready to fight at the moment, at uh, the slightest moment's notice. So I, I, so I, you know, I approached it non-confrontationally. I said, "Hey, Uder, would you mind team fighting with us? We're losing these team fights and we're starting to fall behind. But if we were here, you could. We, if you were here, we could win these." And his response to my humble request was, in all caps, "Fuck you." So, so, I was like, okay, <laughs> um, that's great, and then I, I, I was kind of like, not even really blown away so much as just like, okay, well, if this guy's just gonna be an asshole, I'm just not gonna talk to him, and I was just kind of like, whatever, you know, just kind of, just kind of threw it off, but one of my other teammates was very unhappy with his, was, with his response, he found this unsatisfactory, so, <laughs> so, uh, our Ezreal, our, our ADC, the guy that I was supporting, again, these are random people that I don't know that I was just randomly match made with, he starts getting into a fight with that guy, and then, and then they are, they're going off for like five minutes of, you know, tearing at each other's throats, and Udyr's calling everybody noobs, and he's so good at the game, and yada yada, and then he tells us, well, I was going to split push us to victory, by the way, split pushing is, is a good tactic, but it doesn't, it is not a game winning tactic if you, if you're losing every team fight. It's not it's not going to win you the game back. Um, he uh, he was like, I would have split pushed us to victory, but now I'm gonna sit in the fountain. The fountain is like your spawn point. So 
he basically sat in our base and did nothing for the rest of the game. I'm trying to make this story make sense to those of you who don't play League. It's pretty hard, <laughs> if you can't tell. But he basically sat sat in our base and did nothing for the rest of the game. Because he decided that we were a bunch of noobs. And he decided that we were going to lose. And uh, that's just exactly the kind of thing I'm talking about. Where I'm just saying, people who play League are just, for some reason, like, awful. Not all of them, obviously. But a lot of them. A lot of them are just, for some god-awful reason that I can't wrap my mind around, are just awful, awful people to be around. And, um, I'm never, ever, ever going to be a League commentator. The only, like, League commentator I've really seen who seems to be happy with this, because he doesn't attract any of that negativity, is Dunky. Um, and even then you see it in his comments sometimes, but Dunky, for those of you who don't know, is a YouTuber. He's just basically sheer ridiculousness. I love Dunky. He's one of the few people on YouTube that I still watch. Uh, his, his channel is Video Game Dunky. Um, but he, he's just he's just pure silliness. And even though he uploads a lot of League of Legends, he also does other other games, and that works for him. And he doesn't get these these horrible negative people because nobody nobody can take Dunky's videos that seriously that they get all mad about his gameplay choices because he's just a nut. And that's that's what I love about Dunky. But anyway. I guess I'll leave it here. My, I guess my, the focus of my rant in this episode was I'm not ever doing League of Legends because fuck League of Legends players, but <laughs> uh, even though I am one. But anyway, I am out. Is this the next town? Yay, I made it to the next town. Okay, we're going to head into this town in the next episode. Right, Shuckle? Yeah, right, fucking A. All right, bye.